So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. So, I was thinking we could get The Rock to star as Black Adam. Ah, which one? Which rock? Yeah. Which, which one? The. The Rock, Dwayne Johnson. Oh, okay, you know, that makes no. a lot more sense. I thought there was like about a rock collection you had or something. I thought I wanted to make a stop motion Black Adam movie starring a rock from my rock collection. Listen, I'm very embarrassed, and if we could just move on, I'd appreciate it. I guess. So anyway, there's gonna be this evil king 5,000 years ago in this place called Kandak, right? Right. And he makes this freaking crown that makes you powerful using a rare mineral called Eternium. Those all seem like they might be words. Sure. Thank you. And this little sure. kid wants to oppose him, and so some wizard give him the power of Shazam and he becomes a big old hero. Yeah. Oh boy, that's good. That's what we want in this movie. Actually, no, because Black Adam is not a hero. Oh, yeah, that's right. And yeah. so how are we going to show that he's not a hero? He's going to say it constantly. <laughs> oh my God. Anyway, later in the movie, there's going to be a big reveal where we find out that this kid actually transferred the powers to his father and then was killed. So the father became Black Adam. Oh, they killed Black Adam's son. That is a big reveal. I'm going to put that in the trailer. Oh, <laughs> please don't do that. It's gonna be good in the trailer, all right? So anyway, 5,000 years later, Kondak is now being oppressed by this gang <laughs> called the Inter Gang. That's a terrible gang name. I don't know what yeah. to tell you, sir. They're good at gang stuff, not creative writing. <laughs> That's fair. And so this lady, Adriana, wants to stop the gang from getting this crown, so she goes to get it before them. Mm -hmm. How does she find it? By driving up to the entrance of this cave and going in, and it's just kind of, it's floating it's there. there. So how is this lost for five millennia? Don't worry about it. <laughs> but then some Inter Gang people show up, so she says some words that make <sighs> Black Adam show up. Oh boy, here we go. And so then he shows up and starts killing all the bad guys. <laughs> sure, which is a big deal, you know, because heroes, killing they don't do that. They don't kill. Yeah, they pretty much all do. <laughs> he shows up, so he's not a hero. He's pretty much a villain, if you think about it. He's such a bad guy. Is he killing mm. random people? No, just like mean, evil guys that yeah. directly attack him. So he's pretty right. much a hero. No, he's not. No, he's not. Because he, <laughs> remember, he's he keeps saying he's not. So he's not. Oh, uh, right. Okay, yeah, no, okay, that's my bad. So does he speak in like an ancient language? or something? No, he's just gonna speak in Dwayne Johnson's normal right American away. accent. How does that work? That's actually a really good question. It's kind of a combination of magic and Dwayne Johnson <laughs> probably not being able to do an accent for a full movie. That makes sense. <laughs> so anyway, then Amanda Waller's gonna send the Justice Society to stop Black Adam. And so who's the Justice Society exactly? Oh, well, there's Hawkman, and he has like this long historied friendship with Dr. Fate, who uh -huh. loves to dramatically remove his helmet. That does sound fun. <laughs> he does it in every single scene he's in. And then there's also a guy, Adam Smash, and this girl Cyclone. And what's their deal? Ah, uh, well they're in the movie right. as well. <laughs> oh shit! And so then a big chunk of the movie is gonna be the Justice Society following Black Adam around and being like, heroes don't kill people and he'll be like, I'm not a hero. He freaking loves saying that. He loves it. <laughs> he really does. And we're also gonna find out that that Eternium stuff can actually like weaken and injure Black Adam. That's right. Oh boy, I bet that's gonna come into play later. Nope, and then so also the leader of the bad guys, Ishmael, he's Let's trying to get the crown. He wants it real oh, bad. Man. Very rude. Yeah, and at a certain point, they actually kidnap Adriana's son. Uh-oh, kidnapping. Yeah, Black Adam tried to stop it, but he failed, and so, you know, they got him. Oh, he didn't get there in time? No, he did, but instead of taking him from the apartment he was in and flying him far away, he just flew him to a different floor in the same building, so they, you know, they took him. Uh, yeah, it was a decent strategy, but I could see why that totally didn't work yeah. at all. Yeah, and then they catch up with this bad guy who fires a bullet at the kid, but then Black Adam jumps in and stops the bullet, but makes a big explosion at yeah. the same time. Oh, do people die? Only the bad guys and the kid is kind of unconscious. Wow. Kind so then of. Black Adam turns himself in and gives up his powers. What? Why? Well, because of how horribly that just went. He <laughs> saved the kid and got rid of the bad guys. That went fine. Well, he's gonna turn himself in because we're at a point in the movie where something like that should probably happen. Might oh, as okay, well. gotcha. So they lock him up in this underwater prison inside a water tank with a thing covering his mouth because if he says Shazam, he turns back into Black Adam. Feels like the Justice Society is gonna need his help immediately. But then the Justice <laughs> Justice Society needs his help immediately. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, see, they're in their fancy jet, and the jet detects oh that the god. demon Sabak has appeared. Their aircraft <laughs> identifies demons by name. <laughs> yeah, sure, okay, and so it turns out the bad guy actually wanted Black Adam to kill him, because that's what would turn him into this big, powerful <sighs> demon being. Uh-oh. And then Dr. Fate is gonna sacrifice himself. Oh, why? Because I was thinking of Pierce Brosnan for the role, and he'll probably only sign on for one movie. <laughs> that makes sense. But before he dies, he telepathically helps Black Adam escape from uh, his little water yeah. pod. Uh, so all he's got to do is say Shazam and he'll get his powers back? Exactly. So he's got to fight all these guards and then get to the door of this prison thing yep. and then swim up to the surface and remove his mouth thing and say Shazam. Why doesn't he just remove the <laughs> thing from his 
his mouth and say Shazam as soon as he gets out of the pod, because this is slightly more dramatic. So then he does say it, and he flies in to help. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Wow. But then also, Adriana's son has to convince a bunch of people to rise up and go fight, because the whole city's going nuts. Man, it's yeah, going to be hard for a child to yeah. get the attention of a bunch of screaming adults. Actually, it's going to be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, he stands up on a little thing and talks to all of them at, like, a normal speaking volume, and they all stop what they're doing and listen to him. With and horrible that works. It does, yeah. And so then yeah. all these people are like, hey, let's listen to this very quiet kid and rise up together. <laughs> and what are they all going to go fight exactly? Oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot to mention there are skeleton zombies now. Yeah. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some little skeleton zombies <laughs> showed up. So they all gotta fight those and regain the, the control of the city from the skeleton <laughs> zombies that appeared. Isn't the city being run by a gang? Wouldn't it make more sense to rise up against them? Well, they're human, so that could get messy if they die. So no, it's gonna be a soulless CGI army. So there's no like moral implications when they kill these beings. <laughs> Smart. So Adriana and some other characters are gonna be fighting these skeleton zombies, and then the kid rounds the corner on a skeleton skateboard with all these people behind him and he's like yo mom uh, <laughs> cool 90s kids are tight it's not the 90s sir he's just a cool skateboard kid who says yo mom and wisecracks with black adam like he's john connor from terminator 2 that movie from the early 90s yes <laughs> all right and so then black adam kills the demon guy and everybody's very happy about it amazing and then in a post credit scene amanda waller sends superman to talk to black adam she can send superman places i guess so sir and so what does superman say he says let's open Openly talk about this scene in interviews so people come see this movie. I love that. I love that. And so, yeah, that's about that. it. What do you think? Well, it sounds like a lot of fun. I say we get the ball rolling on this right now. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. We're going to fast track this one. <laughs> Did you see Black Adam? Did you see it? It's in its second weekend. Or it had its second weekend? What? Oh, yeah, I think it had its second weekend. And it had a drop like most movies do. Uh, but this one, you know, it's good. we'll see how it goes. But what did you think of it overall, though? That's really what I want to know. I thought it was good. I thought it was fun. It was fun because it was action-packed, and it was consistent with that. The story, weak. Them trying to make Black Adam a bad guy or an anti-hero in this movie, very weak. Uh, he's just, he's a good guy. He's a good guy with the morals that differ from other heroes in that he will kill people. And they just keep saying how, you know, he's an anti-hero. He's, he's a bad guy. He's not a hero. He is. Uh, so they don't do that very well. Then the end villain, Sabak, that whole scenario was not done well at all. The one thing I didn't like about this is that it, it, it did feel very Zack Snyder-esque in the way that it was telling a story. It had the whole in the past type scenes with the voiceover and of course the voiceover in this one was the boy, the young boy who was not a good actor. So that felt very much like Wonder Woman, uh, 1984. Was there a voiceover in the first one? I can't remember. Uh, but the, all these movies, as far as DC, always have this this voiceover at some point in the movie, and they do it all the time. And this one has that, uh, with a very bad actor in the kid. So that was a little bit frustrating. But was I hoping for a different way this movie would go? Yeah, I knew it was going to be a Batman v Superman or a Godzilla versus Kong type scenario, which is funny because Warner Brothers has done all these movies. <laughs> when it comes to these verses. And I think Godzilla vs. Kong is one of the best. Uh, this one would be next. Just as far as how it goes about its story for the most part, but uh, you don't really care about the Sabak fight all that much. You care more about the fight between Black Adam and the JSA. That was fun, even though the JSA don't really know much about them in this movie. You kind of have to go in with the JSA already having some knowledge of these characters. And so that part was a little bit odd as far as how they went about that. I thought Hawkman and Dr. Fate's relationship was cool. I want to see more of that. But if you don't know anything about these characters, you're not really going to get anything about them in this movie. They're just there, already established. So it works in some cases and others, it just doesn't. But that was just me. I had fun with the movie though. I actually kind of want to see it again. It was fun. Even the end credit scene, it was great. So if you haven't seen it, let me know if you're going to watch it or if you're just going to wait for it to be on HBO Max, uh, which it will be on pretty sure soon. Uh, but yeah. I had fun with it. Very funny pitch meeting as always. Uh, he hits all the beats in this one in, in a funny way. It was pretty standard as far as how I went about the pitch meeting for this movie, but uh, the, the delivery is what makes it really good in this one. So I enjoyed it. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. If you are a member, subscriber, or watcher, whatever the case, appreciate you. You are amazing. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you have yourselves a great rest of the day. Take care.